Hi, it's me, Pete Smith. Thanks for joining me on this Talks on Walks today. Today, I want to talk about back versus front. Thank you, West South Express. Hey, I'm Pete Smith. Thanks for joining me on my Talks on Walks today. Yeah, today I'd like to talk about back versus front. I got to thinking about our fronts, you know, a person's front, and the fact that everything that we have uh, that is actively engaged in the world is in front. In other words, our face, our eyes, we have two of them, two of them right in front. Our ears basically are facing frontward, a little bit to the side. Um, our mouth, right? We speak forward. Uh, we eat. We breathe through our mouths. Our mouths are so important. We kiss. We do so much with our mouths. Um, our noses. We breathe. We smell. Um, our hands, our limbs, they face forward. They don't really go back that easy, you know? But it's easy. The elbow bends forward, right? It doesn't go back the other way. Uh, our legs, same thing. Our knees, they bend forward so we can walk forward. It's very difficult to walk backwards because our legs straight, right? And, and you can't bend it back that other way. Our feet are sticking out in front of us. Our toes out in front of us. And we think of who we are and we think, well, I'm this right? We think of our face, we think of our hair in the front, we think of our chest and our stomach and our pelvis and our legs looking, looking at us from a front view. Our mirrors, 90, I don't know how many, but 99% of our mirrors are geared to show our front. We don't generally use those mirrors that can show you the back. I remember as a kid, buying my first suit at, uh, yeah, where was it, Robert, Roberts, or Robert John, or uh, some clothing store there on Bloomfield Ave in Bloomfield. And I was amazed that they had a mirror that, you know, a, a couple of mirrors so that you could actually see the back of yourself pretty clearly. And uh, I was like, whoa, that's what I look like from behind? <laughs> I mean, it was really like uh, something that I had never really seen or even thought about and uh, th th probably haven't thought about it much since until, until lately. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm using my headset mic today instead of my, uh, generally I use my regular mic, but um, yeah, so our fronts. And I got to thinking, why is that? Why is it that our fronts are so, you know, crucial, it seems, to our lives? And not so much the backs, you know, you got your head and uh, your brain and everything. And it all seems to be like back here, right? All like coming around back here. And then, but you do have your spine. You do have your spine, which is, I mean, it really doesn't get really that much more important than your spine, but we don't think about that too much. It's generally, you know, the front. And why is that? So I've been pondering that question a little bit in my own mind. Let me fix this color here. It's very dark. Kind of a dark day today. Anyway, so what I'm thinking is, well, we're meant to move forward in life. That's what it is. We're meant to Keep moving forward, you know, and look towards the future. Uh, don't be too focused on what's behind you. You know, there's a saying, uh, the objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And it's, you know, the stuff in the mirror, you know, it's really not that, that critical, it seems. To our lives, the past, it's more about where we're going. And, you know, if you fall down, you pick yourself back up and 
take another step forward and uh, just keep moving forward. Um, you know, the things that are that you need to do are there. They're right in front of you if you look, you know. Uh, what you need to concentrate on, focus on your action. Uh, think about, see what you need to see. It's there. It's in front of you. Um, now, having said that, I want to also say, what about considering the back? How is it? If we do that, what does that feel like? And so I kind of stopped and thought about it for a while. And it's almost like there's a spiritual aspect to us, I believe, that's more in the back. I mean, we do have your third eye and we have our heart, which is very spiritual. But there's also this, there's also this feeling that if we need a push, it's back here, right? If you feel like you need a push, somebody's going to give you a push. They push you from the back. They'll put their hand on your shoulder, maybe on your shoulder blade, and say, come on. Maybe they'll walk with you and put their arm around you and say, come on, move forward, kid. And so that's very important to us. Uh, like when we're on a swing, right? We generally don't like to be pushed from the front, like, you know, like the knees, push, pushing, you know, somebody pushing at our knees or our chest or something, you know. But from behind on the swing, it's good. It feels right. You know, somebody gives you a push and you go up and then they get and they push you again. So you need a push sometimes and that push comes from the back and you need a helping hand sometimes. And I think that helping hand comes from the back. You need a pat. You need a pat on the back every once in a while, right? We say that, pat on the back. Um, and so I think there's this whole spirit kind of thing going on in the back that we sometimes forget about. I think there's, there's a spiritual, the spiritual world, at least for me, as I think about this, uh, there is a connection in the back now. That may also have to do with the spinal column and all the feelings and nerves on the spinal column and that whole, you know, that whole organ running down the whole back of us. So, and I just feel like there's a lot going on behind us that we're maybe not seeing, you know? And when we do consider that, it's a completely different kind of feeling. So if you can, take some time and close your eyes and just think, what is behind me, first internally? What's inside of me that's in the back or the back side of? A friend of mine says the back side of your heart. Think about the back side of your heart. And that's kind of cool to think about that, that there is this back side that's there that maybe doesn't get the attention that it needs, doesn't get the massage, doesn't get the the little pat and say, hi, I know you're there. I know you're doing your job. You're doing good. Keep up that great work. And then, you know, behind us, we might have our organs, you know, the back of our kidneys and the back of our our stomach, you know, the backside and then the back of our intestines, you know, all the back in the back, you know, and our lungs. We think about expanding. Well, how about the back of our lungs? How about the back of our solar plexus, of our sternum, of our rib cage? And how about our butt, you know? How about all the work our butt does? You give, give that a little bit of credit, you know? Our butts and say, thank you, butt. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to sit and you know, poop and, and do all these things and, and uh, bend over uh, to pick something up or, um, yeah, um, and the backs of our legs and our, and our muscles there in the back, you know, and our calves and our, our ankles, our uh, heels, the back part of our foot, the back of the heel, you know, 
and uh, our elbows, the back of our arms, the back of our shoulders, our shoulder blades, how important they are to us. They push us, they allow us to do this, right? This, swim, swim through the world, reach, reach out, reach out to the, to the nature, reach out to others. And that all happens from the back, you know? The result is a front, but the motivation, the energy, the, the push comes from the back from the back. So there's a lot going on behind us that maybe we don't think about. So that's what I wanted to explore with you today. I hope this video comes out all right. Uh, sometimes when I use this mic, it goes bouncing around and creates a thud, thud, thud. And we don't want that. So anyway, back versus front. Hope you enjoyed this little discussion. Gave you something to think about. I'm Pete Smith. Thanks for joining me on this Talks on Walks, saying so long, be safe.